To start our solar USB charger, we're going to need a few things. A small solar panel, twin AA battery holder, two rechargeable batteries, and a standard diode. We're also going to need some wire and a very special component I'll tell you about in just a sec. All right, let's get started. The first step is to apply solder to the negative and positive connections on the back of our solar panel. And we'll also apply solder to the anode side of the diode. That's the side opposite of the black stripe. Then we'll solder the positive end of the diode to the solar panel. Then we'll solder one wire to the other end of the diode and another wire to the negative side of the solar panel. When we hook up a voltmeter to those bare leads, we can see the solar panel is producing voltage, even with the lights right here in my room. And just to make sure this works as planned, we're going to solder the positive wire and the negative wire from the solar panel to the positive and negative wire of our battery holder. Keep in mind AA rechargeable batteries are around 1.25 volts. Standard AA batteries produce about 1.5 volts. Hooking up a voltmeter to these rechargeable batteries shows that these are pretty dead. Time to put our little setup out in the sun and let those batteries charge. Ah yes, that's what we're looking for, and these even charge a little bit higher, to 1.37 volts. I get asked all the time, where do I get the materials for my projects? And for a lot of people, the materials are too expensive. Well, did you know you can buy the complete kit for this project directly from my site when you become a Kip K superfan? I'll tell you a little bit more about that in just a second. Now, the one special component we need to complete this project is a small USB emergency charger. This takes two AA batteries and has a USB port on the end. It also has a couple of LEDs and a little switch. Well, we need to get to that main component, so it's time to tear into it and pop that little sucker out. Then we need to locate the positive and negative connections on this board. Those two little clips will come out, as well as the two LEDs, because we don't need anything drawing any more juice. After they've been unsoldered, it'll look like this. Now we'll take the two positive wires and the two negative wires from our solar panel setup, and we'll solder those to the board. We're done. I'll plug a USB cable into our charger and the other end into my phone, and sure enough, my phone is charging. The solar panel will charge the AA batteries, which will in turn charge or power your USB devices. Now, if you want to build this and you get the kit from me, you'll get this really cool custom printed tin. It's the same dimensions as an Altoids tin, but it's custom printed just for you. For now, we'll use a regular Altoids tin. I cut a small slot in the side, added electrical tape to prevent any shorting, and then applied a liberal amount of hot glue to the bottom of our little circuit. And we've made ourselves a portable solar USB charger. And everything fits inside the little tin. Okay, if you'd like to build this, your hoppiest kit includes one solar panel, one USB circuit, a diode, two rechargeable batteries and a battery holder, two wires, and a tin to hold everything together. Plus, every month you'll get more cool stuff like step-by-step -step tutorials, an exclusive live webcast with me, Kip K., and new kits every month. To get started, just click the link on the screen here or in the description right now. Find the Kip K kit that fits you and check out instantly. You'll be doing DIY projects in no time. Well, I hope you enjoyed this project. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.